insecure for having standards. Stop calling men insecure for having boundaries. Okay, yeah, I can give my thoughts on this video. Before I do, let's make sure we're all on the same page on the words that she's using. Insecure, what does that mean? That means not feeling confident, not feeling assured, not feeling secure. That means uh, feeling uncertain or anxious. That's what insecure means. In the context of an entire relationship, it's being uncertain or anxious about the stability or longevity of a relationship. It can also be anxiousness about whether or not your partner likes you, to what degree they like you, and how stable that feeling is in them, like how prone to change that liking you is. That's what insecurity is. Boundaries are rules for you on how you will allow yourself and your stuff to be treated. Think of it like a bubble around you and your stuff. The only time someone breaches your boundary is if they enter your bubble, if they do something to you or your stuff. Somebody doing something somewhere else and you're not there and you just don't like it, that doesn't make it a breach in your boundaries. It's only a breach in boundaries if it's you or your stuff. People set boundaries in relationships, but both people take part in creating and agreeing to those boundaries. At that point, it's not your boundaries, it's the boundaries of the relationship, as in boundaries that you both agreed upon. Sorry that took so long. Let's watch the video. I use the word insecure as some type of coping mechanism for men who actually care about the type of woman that they pursue a relationship with. Oh, you don't want me wearing this? You're so insecure. Oh, you don't want me going out late with my friends to the club at night? You're so insecure within yourself. Sis, that's not insecurity. That's love and protection. No, that's not love and protection. That's possessiveness and insecurity. What is he protecting her from? Like, what danger does he think she's in by wearing like a spicy outfit or going to the club? He's trying to protect her from the danger of the eyes of other men. He doesn't want other men looking at her in a sexual manner. He doesn't want other men trying to talk her up in the club. That's not a danger requiring protection. That's very much a, you belong to me and I don't like people looking at or touching my stuff. It's either that or he legitimately thinks that she's going to run off and sleep with some guy at the club. And if that's how he feels, then he does not feel secure in the relationship. That is an insecurity. If his priority was legitimately just her safety, then he would just offer to be the designated driver. Or I'm going to hang out at the bar next door, give me a ring if you need me, or something. Saying you can't go out and be hot and have fun because I'm protecting you, that's, that's bullshit, clearly. He knows how visual men are. Why would he want his woman to be a target to other men? Why would he want your private area, something that only his eyes are supposed to see on display for the whole world to see? Yes, this is very much a, this is my stuff, I don't want anyone else to see it. This isn't about safety, he doesn't think your cleavage is going to put you in danger. Like, it may be insecurity, like he's worried that your outfit is going to make you go fuck somebody. Or it's possessiveness. Like, no, there's no legitimate concern that something's going to happen. I just don't like it because you're mine and I don't like people seeing my stuff. See, the problem is you want the freedom of acting single all while still being in a relationship with someone. Now, acting single looks different for everybody. But the examples that she gave were wearing what you want and going to have fun with your friends. I don't know if people think that being in a relationship means the only fun you're allowed to have is with your partner, but that's weird. The only time you're allowed to look attractive is with your partner. That's weird. Each person in a relationship is a whole human being outside of the relationship. Relationships are not supposed to feel like shackles. Oh yeah, all that fun you were having? Cut that shit out. You're with me now. The person you were when we met, the things that you did when we met, yeah, toss all that shit out. You're my person now. That is your new identity. That's... It's fucking weird. You want all the benefits, but expect him to just do everything that you say and just roll with it. You expect him to defend you. You expect him to protect and provide for you. But when he does it in a way that's not how you want, it's a problem. Maybe she's talking to a very specific group of women. I've been enjoying the dating scene for about 16 years. My longest relationship was about three years. I've never had any woman tell me they wanted me to protect them, provide for them, defend them, any of that stuff, give them benefits, none of it. Are you guys, is that what you guys are asking for? I know men say that's what women want, but are women actually like cooperating this stuff? Things I've been asked to do in a relationship. Have good communication. Emotionally support them when they're feeling down. Being open to admitting when I'm wrong and being willing to tell them when they're wrong. Make time and spend time with each other. I've never had protect me from danger. I've never had provide some kind of lifestyle for me. I've never had none of that. So I genuinely want to know what you guys' expectations are in that department. I also want to quickly address that she's suggesting, once again, that telling her what to wear and that she can't have fun with her friends is protection and providing. If he didn't love you, he wouldn't set up boundaries for you, sis. Yeah, that, that, that. 
That's not what a boundary is. You can't set up boundaries for other people. The two of you can set boundaries for the relationship. A monogamous relationship has the boundary of not being intimate with other people, but he cannot set a boundary for you. That is not a boundary. That is control. You could go out and do what you want to do, wear what you want to wear, staying up late all hours of night. He wouldn't give a damn about you, knowing very well the dangers that are out there. He doesn't love you. If he loved you, would he let you do what you want? What? Why does this version of love sound like being grounded? It's just control being framed as protection. This is manipulation. Now, I know there's people out here saying, no, men are legitimately dangerous. She can't go out because men are predators and she's the target. You guys are saying hashtag all men. Please stand in the hashtag all men line. Welcome aboard. The solution to that is not barring your partner from having fun with her friends. Let's not pretend that it is. The woman insecure is the woman who can't take direction from her significant other because deep down she knows that she still seeks the world's validation over her own significant other. She's basically saying if you go outside while hot, it's because you're insecure. If you were really secure, you'd be ugly. And you'd go outside in a burlap sack. What you being sexy for? Just be ugly. Having fun at the club with your friends? You must seek the world's validation. No, if you really love your significant other, then you'll only go outside while ugly. If you can't do that, then I don't know what to tell you. So stop being hot, do whatever your partner says, and listen to your man's directions. Did I, did I cover everything? So yeah, I disagree with everything she said.